Okay, in this video, we're gonna look at how you can take your Canvas calendar and add it to your Google Calendar. And what's really nifty about doing this is that if you also then take your Veracross calendar, which will be in another video, and add it to your Google Calendar, you'll only need to really pay attention to one calendar for everything at school, whether that's assignments or school activities. So we're gonna first do the Canvas calendar first. How do you take your Canvas calendar and move it over to your Google Calendar? So you're on your Canvas page. We're gonna start by clicking on this calendar button on the side here. And this should then list all of your assignments for all of your classes. Notice that all of my classes over on the side here, if I don't want a certain subject to appear, I can just click that box. If you're not familiar with Canvas calendars, now you can kind of see how they work. Um, but what we wanna do is take all of our Canvas events, essentially all of their assignments, and I wanna move them over to your Google Calendar. So uh, let's show how to first copy the link first. So on this Canvas Calendar on the side here, it says Calendar Feed. We're gonna click on that. And it's gonna give us a URL. We're gonna wanna copy this URL. So I'm going to triple click until everything's highlighted. And then either right click or Command C on your MacBook. And that's gonna copy this link here. I'm gonna go to a new page now. And then to access your Google Calendar, you can either click on the three dots in a new Chrome tab and click on calendar, or you can go to calendar.google.com if you're logged into Chrome already. All right, so this is your Google Calendar. Um, I know a lot of your teachers use a lot of Google Calendars for their, in, for their own uh, department events. I personally really like Google Calendar. It, it's very easy for me uh, to add events. Um, but now we're just going to show how you can add a whole calendar to your Google Calendar page. So over on the side here, you might only have like your name. You maybe have another calendar or two, but you probably don't have as many calendars here. Uh, but next to other calendars underneath uh, whatever calendars you might have, we're going to click this plus button. And then we're going to add a calendar from a URL. And we're going to paste that URL that we just copied. So click that from URL. It's gonna give you this prompt to add a URL. I'm going to paste this. So on your MacBook, it's Command V. Command V is in Victor. And then we're gonna add the calendar. Okay, we get a notification that the calendar was added. And then I'm gonna go back to my calendars. We'll notice that this calendar in this case here was called the Tyler Gaspich calendar, hashtag canvas, or sorry, uh, parentheses canvas. Yours might have a different name to it, um, but this is telling us that this calendar did import. And how do we know if we change the setting from maybe a week setting to a month setting? I can see that some of those events are in blue from my Canvas calendar. So this activity, this activity, this reflection, these are things that came from my Canvas calendar that are now appearing on my Google Calendar. What's great about this is that you can also see that there are other events that all funnel into my Google Calendar. So I only use Google for my centralized calendar here. Um, I'll then show in another video how you can add your Veracross events into this Google Calendar so that you have everything now in one centralized calendar. And in this case here, it would be Google. If you wanna turn these events off and maybe you don't wanna see them, you uncheck this box and you'll notice that they disappear similar. If I wanna get rid of all the faculty events, those are gone too, or any of my personal events, those are gone, and I can always add them back in. If you wanna unlink the calendar, you'll click on the X next to it, and it'll give you this prompt, are you sure you wanna do this? If you click remove that calendar, you can then pull it from your Google Calendar, the one we just added, and you can always add this back in. What's nice about this is that anytime there's an event that's added on your Canvas calendar, it will automatically populate here. So if you have your Google calendar and that's the only thing you're checking, it should stay up to date. And that is how you can add Canvas calendars onto your Google calendar.